Hi, artists. Today, we're going to talk about line, and we're going to talk about a kind of art called sculpture. Let's talk about line first. I was wondering if you know or have seen this kind of line before. What kind of line is that? That's right, it's a straight line. It's going straight all the way across. When lines go across, we call that horizontal. That's a horizontal line. Look at this line. This line is going up and down. We call that a vertical line. And now look at this line. That line is going diagonal, but they're all straight lines. I'm wondering if you know some other kinds of lines. What about a line that looks like this? Do you have a name for that line? I call that a wavy line. What about a line that looks like this? Do you have a name for that line? I call that a zigzag line. What about a line that looks like this? I call that a curly line. And there are other kinds of line too. For example, this line here doesn't even go across, it just stays in one place. I call that a swirl. And all of these different lines are used to make pictures. Now let's talk about this word called sculpture. A sculpture is a kind of art that stands up on its own and you can walk around it. I went to a sculpture garden this summer. Here's a picture of me in front of a sculpture. We were able to walk around this sculpture and see it from all different sides. That's called three-dimensional. So it's not flat and it's not hanging on the wall. It's not that kind of art. It's the kind of art that stands up by itself. You're going to make a line sculpture today. And it starts with a flat piece of cardboard that looks like this. Now, your teacher will give you a crayon to write your name so that we remember who made that sculpture. I'm going to write my name on this one. Then, there's going to be a box at your table that has the crayons in it to use to write your name, but there's also going to be all of these colorful lines. Oh, look at these lines. A red line, a green line, or a yellow line, a green line. Well, I have a challenge for you. I want to see if you can make these lines stand up like a sculpture. Let's see if I can do it. Change, move my camera over so you can see my tabletop. Well, here's my piece of paper. And I have another tool you can use, a glue stick. So if I just, well, if I just lay that there, that's not really standing up, so I can't really see all different sides of it. But look what happens when I take both ends and push it up. <gasps> now I can turn my sculpture around and see all different sides of it. Hmm, I wonder how I can make it stay up though, because look, once I let go of it, it falls back down flat. I want it to stand up. I bet we can use this glue stick to make it stand up. Let's see if I can figure it out. When we're using our glue sticks, we take the cap off and we set it so it sits up. We don't want to set it on the side because it's going to roll around and fall off the table and then get lost. When you get your special art glue stick, you're going to see that it's purple at the top. There's a twisty on the bottom, and you just need to twist a little bit out. You don't need a lot. I have an idea of how I can make this sculpture stand. I'm going to put a little bit of the glue on my piece of cardboard, and then I'm going to find another spot like that. 
they're spaced apart from each other. And this glue is, is special because it comes on the paper purple. So I remember where it is. It doesn't turn invisible. Now I'm going to try something. I'm going to put one side of my line down and I'm going to press it with my finger. And then very gently, I'm going to put the other side on top of that glue that I put on the paper or my cardboard. And now I'm going to press it down with my fingers. <gasps> Look, it's standing on its own. It didn't fall back down. Now that glue is still kind of wet, so you might want to hold it down for a couple of seconds, like 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. <gasps> that should be good and secure. That's one kind of line. It almost looks like a tunnel, but it's a curvy line. Let's see if I can take another straight line and make something out of it. Hmm, I might have to experiment. Experiment one is, is when I try something new that I've never tried before. So I'm going to try. I've already done it this way. What if I looped it? Oh, I made a curly line. But I got to make sure that I can glue it down before it falls flat again. I'm going to do that same trick where I just put a little bit of glue down. But instead of finding another spot, I'm going to put one end down. Press it down for a couple of seconds. You can count to 10. And then I'm going to kind of play with it or experiment with it and loop it around with my fingers and find another spot. Put that glue down onto the table there, or not the table, but onto my cardboard there, and then put the other end down. <gasps> Look at my sculpture. My sculpture is growing. I have a curve line. I have a curly line. What other line can you make? Sometimes experimenting, I might find that instead of keeping it one piece like this, that's flat and then just twisting it, I could do something like bend it or fold it. Here I am, I'm bending and folding it. <gasps> What kind of line did I make now? I made a zigzag line. And I'm going to find a spot for it on my paper. On my sculpture, I mean. Let's see. I'm going to play around with it a little bit. Find a good spot for it. Maybe it could even go under parts of my other line. Hmm, right there's a good spot for me. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue down on my cardboard, press one side of my line down, find a good spot for the other one and carefully lift it up, find a place to put some glue down, hold it down for 10 seconds, and I'm going to keep adding more and more lines onto my sculpture. Oh, something happened! My sculpture came apart! Oh, and that might happen to you. That just means you got to hold it down longer. Maybe even rub it with your finger. Here's one that I finished. And look at this sculpture. I can see all the way around my sculpture. And every time I'm looking around my sculpture, it looks a little different. I see some zigzag lines, curved lines, curly lines wavy lines when you take this home today i want you to hold it like this make your hands into a claw and put your hands underneath and hold it like that so that it doesn't fall over and get flattened also when you're done making your sculpture make sure that you twist the glue back down and put the cap on until you hear it snap all right happy art making